Well, folks, welcome back. I'm the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. And just like that terrible teaser of an image for the beginning. Yes, I'm doing some more predictions, folks. This time is for NXT, the Great American Bash. I know I'm not wearing an NXT shirt. I'm wearing my Crown Jewel Chase Owen shirt. Um, I think all my NXT, I think, well, the one NXT shirt I have right now is in the laundry. So I had to figure out what wrestling shirt to wear when I'm doing my wrestling predictions. And as always, I to thank everyone for watching. Out there in the YouTube land, you need your own applause. Um, for some odd reason, my non-wrestling vid... Well, actually... My Daytona Beach Bum Fight League wrestling videos. My movie reviews. You guys have been solid about that. Come watch me on predictions and reactions. Yep, that's all I have to say. So again, I still want to thank everyone out there. Everyone out there, I'm not worthy... I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. So you know what? Hit my music. Yep, the classic ECW Elastica mashup. Always good stuff. So this Sunday we have NXT's Great American Bash. Well, I think it's the Great American Bash at least. It's going to be the Great American Bash. So yeah. Um, oh, before I get into that. Hopefully, because I'm leaving my job. And as I said before, you know what? If you're going to have management realize that paperwork is more important than people. Like that's gots to go situation. Um, I've always hated the paperwork over person ideal especially when I started to work with the state and realized that I had three hour long reports to do. They give you eight hours of work to do, but only give you five hours to do it in because three of those hours are spent in meetings and it's literally death by meeting, which by no means is a good thing. So with that being said, let's talk about the great American bash. I have no idea. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have some American food. I'm gonna have Americanized food. I'm gonna have some breakfast from bacon, egg, and cheese burritos. Mainly because all I had to do was buy the eggs, and I realized I had everything else. I'm gonna have my little feast. I'm gonna have my, of course, strawberry rum with strawberry soda, double strawberry treat, and actually. I promise, folks, this time I will not fall asleep during NXT. Unless the matches get really bad. So let's start the show off. We have a weapons match. Roxanne Perez versus Blair Dra Davenport, formerly known as B. Priestley. Um, NXT tends to be good with wrestlers coming in. So I'm going to say Blair Davenport wins. And this should actually be a kind of fun match. If they're using some weapons, there better be some, some color going on. Then we have this four person. Now, I have not seen NXT in a while. Hopefully, I'll be getting to some more live events, which I know you guys want. But I have been working, I think, every Tuesday night. The few times I get to watch NXT, I'm just like, not feeling it. So, we have a multi-person intergender Eight man woman extravaganza. I almost made this my snooze match, but I, I cannot sleep on Dragon Lee because it's Dragon Lee, Nathan Frazier, and uh, Dragon Lee and two Brazilian women. That's like a fantasy come true. Well, at least the two Brazilian women. No, Brazilian women are bad. They break American men. But yeah, so you have Dragon Lee, Nathan Frazier. Yalisa Leon and Valentina Frez. I'm surprised I got those names right. Versus the Scottish Supernova, Noam Da. Um, Oro Mensa. 
I don't know who that is. Lash Legend and Jakara Jackson. Hmm. Noam Dar and Alicia Fox. I don't know. I think Alicia Fox is wrestling for reality of wrestling now. But yeah, you know what? I have the faces going over. I can never root against Dragon Lee, Nathan Frazier, and two Brazilian women. Just can't. And then in my stone cold lock of the night. We have the Dallas boys taking on Mi Familia or, or the family. Um, that's Stax and, and Tony D'Angelo versus, I forget who's in Gallus. It's not Joe Hendry. It's the other one. I forget. Oh well. You know what? Doesn't matter. Stone Cold Lock says Gallus is going over. They're keeping those NXT tag belts. We need Dan Matha. I'm the hammer. And he's the nail. I miss Dan Matha. Then we have our North American Championship match. Triple Threat. Dominic Mysterio versus Wesley versus Mustafa Ali. I was torn because I'm like, Wesley might get that belt back. Dominic Mysterio looks good with that belt. It would be something if all the members of Judgment Night show up with the belt and Damien Priest has the briefcase. Well, Damien Priest could go after the U.S. belt and everyone would have a belt. Indeed. Yeah, I have Dominic Mysterio winning. It's, this has just been fun. The match, I'm, the match I actually might take a nap through, though, is the women's title. Tiffany Stratton versus Thea Hall. You know what? Tiffany Stratton's winning. She's keeping that belt. They have no idea what they're doing with the women's division. Oh, please. Oh, please do not let the NXT women's division become like the AEW women's division. Oh. That's lousy. But yeah, you can, you know what, just go ahead and take a nap through that match anyway. Because I have a funny feeling Tiffany Stratton's winning. Then in the main event, also in my match of the night. In this corner, we have the champion, Carmelo Hayes. Hayes. And opposing him in the opposite corner, we have Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov. Ready? Height. So, in this, you know what? I have Ilya Dragunov winning the NXT belt. Carmelo Hayes is going to get called up. Probably do something. Hopefully, they make a new Hurt Business. Or make something like that. With Carmelo Hayes, Trick Williams, Bobby Lashley. That would be good. So, yeah. I have Ilya Dragunov winning. That's going to be an amazing match, though. Very simply say, those are my picks for NXT Great American Bash. Again, I'd like to thank you, my audience. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. To have all my loyal followers and subscribers. So please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, I will be doing my reaction video Sunday. And then also next week, I'll have my predictions up for SummerSlam. And maybe invite a guest to do that. Who knows? Other than that, 